Yeah, if you don't know a thing on the DJ Comedy TV, we out here represent for Julian Sewell Vlog. If you don't know a thing, go check her out on YouTube. Boom! Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl Juliana Sewell. Thank you so much for being here. Please remember to like the video, to comment, to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell to be notified each time I put up something. And also go ahead and check out my second channel, which is Juliana Stowell Queen Vlog. I will leave the link in the description box down below. What I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about my childhood days coming up into maturity and to where I am at the moment. Okay. Growing up as the eldest for your mom, for my mom, my mom had five of us. And uh, I enjoy my life, my childhood growing up to an extent. But the problem that I had was low self-esteem problems. I would seek advice from the wrong crowd. I would walk with the wrong crowd. But trust me, I wouldn't get into whatever they would get into. Because I know that I, I was too shy. I had low self-esteem. I wasn't able to hold a steady conversation not that i wasn't able to hold a steady conversation i was just too shy to hold a conversation with anybody at all the moment that you try to get close to me then the moment that i will push you away from me so but um, growing up while my mom went out to do domestic work and uh, helping others i was mostly home with my siblings and my dad my dad go out to work every single day. So hard was to get up, hard was to make breakfast, hard was to take care of my other siblings at home. And I didn't find it fun, to be honest, because I wasn't ready for that. That was not what I was looking forward to. I wanted was to enjoy myself as all other young persons were enjoying themselves, how they were going about to galloping on the street as if they had no parents that were that was what i wanted but um, learning being at home and learning to cook from a very tender age it helped me to be the woman that i am today because i'm able to do stuff that i saw that most person even now they're mature enough they're still not able to do certain stuff because I started cooking at the age of 10 years old. I started making dinner, preparing, washing my dad's clothes, washing for my siblings, which I really didn't want to do that because I wanted was to be able to go to other friends' place and stuff like that. I had a friend, my next door neighbor, she was the one who also helped me out. She would help me to do whatever washing that I'm doing. And then when as soon as I am finished, I would able I would go by her house to help her to do her chores that she had also because growing up when you're young and you come from a poor background and you don't have the the help that you need, because at times you need person to talk to. And growing up as a younger parent seems to hide certain information they wouldn't tell you about certain stuff so you have to seek information from outside which is totally wrong i don't think a parent should hide anything from a child especially if that child is a female i think you should open up to that female and said listen these are the do's and these are the don'ts because hiding stuff from females they they will end up growing up i would say stupid but uh, lack of knowledge and not knowing the right from the wrong and uh, now i am truly happy with who i am because i went overseas my dad sent me overseas and by going overseas i was able to increase in knowledge because anybody who has traveled before they're able to learn stuff that they didn't learn because one thing i am glad for i spend time with my aunt in england and uh, it had helped me along the way i even started working at the age of 15 years old i told him that i was 16 which i know wasn't cool but 
but to be honest i wanted to to earn my own cash i didn't want any handout from anybody and i enjoy every moment working while i was going to school i would go to work in the early morning and then i would do my two or my three hours and then i would try and get back at school and then to be honest the work got so exciting i start making cash and i enjoy making that money i even stopped going to school going to school at one point which i know was not so cool but because when you're mixing with the wrong crowd you tend to do stuff that is not healthy and uh, in spite of everything it has uh, teaches me how to have a more mature because i had to learn from a tender age of how to be mature i learned how to save i learned how to work for everything that i want i never had anything given to me freely i had to work for everything that i have everything that i have everything that i have accomplished i have to work for it and i enjoy every moment working for it it's unfortunately that my dad is not here to see who I have become today because he was my main source. He was my motivator. I looked up to him. My dad could have said, could have said, children, go and do this. And I, would, I wouldn't question my dad but to how much I love my dad and to how much I respected my dad. But my dad passed away. And when my dad passed away, that's the time that I returned to Jamaica. Returning to Jamaica, I thought it would be something joyful but to be honest it wasn't something that i expected because uh, returning back to jamaica i didn't know anybody to be honest i missed all my friends that i have had overseas and uh, in spite of that i came back here at a young age i started going to nursing school i had to work while i was going to nursing school i had few little helps and a few little helps that I had was from mainly person overseas assisting me to go to nursing school. I ended up, before going to nursing school, I ended up getting married at the age of 21, which I was blindfolded going into that marriage. I wasn't ready for anything like that. And if I had listened to my mom when she said, do not get married at that age, then I wouldn't be going through a divorce. And in spite of going through that divorce and everything, it, it was a blessing to me. Because guess what? When that relationship had broken off, I ended up, that marriage has broken down. I ended up going to a different parish, going to nursing school, finish nursing school. I worked. I couldn't have made it to where I am if I was still in that marriage. Because if I was still in that marriage, I couldn't put in bread. I couldn't do nothing. It was as if I was in a prison to how that marriage was set up because going to a apostolic church and stuff, their rules are very strict. And to be honest, I enjoy going to church and everything like that. But now that I am more mature, I am more wiser, I know that I will not make that mistake. And I, I took so long to get my divorce paper sorted out. I am currently doing my divorce paper at the moment and trust me, I will never, and I will say I don't care who the person be, I will never make that mistake again. And ladies, a male as also, do not trick to do something that you know that you're not ready for. Do not because you, you're going to a church or you feel as if you don't want to let down anybody. If you if you're mentally do not go or do not do something, do not do it because and that morning that I was supposed to get married, I I so many things came to my mind that day. I think about running away, I think about not going, and I force myself and I go and that marriage I got nothing out of that marriage to say. But all I know that I got, I got peace of mind. Um, I feel so happy when I break free from that marriage because I know that I was in a, it was a bondage. It was a bondage. I know that I wouldn't be here now 
talking to you if I was still in that marriage because I was so restricted. It is everything that you do, you would have to second guess. I wonder if I should do this, I wonder if I should do that. Because trust me, it's when you go into a marriage and you go in for the right reason, but the next person they go in for the right reason, it will cause a problem. And you see your state of mind, your mental health is more important to you than to anybody else. Ensure that you are comfortable with whatever decision that you're making. Because guess what? It's not somebody that's going to live into that marriage that you're going to get, that they're going to force you to get into. It's not everybody is going to, it's not your pastor, it's not your deacon, it's not your church brother, it's not your church sister. It's you have to live with that marriage that you're going to get into. When you get into that marriage, because it's not everything you're going to go to your pastor, and it's not everything that you want to tell a person. But you know the hell that you have been through. You know the storm that you are going going through. And so many persons are still going in through a storm because they got into a marriage. Blindfolded. A church person come to you and I said, this is the person that God said you're supposed to get married to. Test that spirit. Because it's not everybody is going in for the right reason. And this is why you have so many persons who... Their marriage has broken down. And because of not saying that you can't listen to a person you know about, ensure that the person that you are listening to is the right person. And do not take advice, relationship advice from a person in the church who is not married. That was the biggest mistake I've made with my life. But in spite of everything, I have gone through the storm. And I'm still standing here today. Because God mercy has kept me. God mercy has changed me to the person who I am today. I am able to stand up on my own two feet. I do not need anybody to tell me to do this or to do that. I am thankful for God mercy. He has kept me today. Guys, if you are going through whatever storm that you are going through, whatever problems that you are going through in your relationship, Seek counseling, and if you can save it, save it. Seek counseling, get advice. If you don't feel like talking to your church person, find somewhere somebody else and talk to. Guys, please remember to like the video, to comment, to subscribe, turn on the notification bell to be notified each time I post something. Thank you very much. So